Hey guys, this is Trevor Cycle One McDougal, and I'm back with yet another segment of CGIM, that is Canadian Geeks Interviewing Metal. And this week, we got some guests coming in all the way from Sydney, Australia. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves a little bit? Hey, I'm Ben. I'm the lead vocalist of the band Fuel to Fire. And I'm, g'day there, I'm Clayton, lead guitarist, Fuel to Fire. Well, welcome, guys, to the CGCM. Uh, as you. you know, we have been playing a lot of your song, uh, Balls to the Wall, from the new EP, which we have right here. And uh, we're going to hopefully get you guys some more more sales in the long run is what we're hoping for, right? A little bit of promotion goes a long way. Yeah. Thank That's you. Great. Yeah, great. Thank you. So uh, let me just say, I know I know you guys have had a really bad time down there in Australia. You know, one year the continent pretty much burns down. This year, you guys are flooded. It's just one into the other. I, ho I hope everybody's okay and well. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I didn't have much flooding here, but it, it, it rained a lot. And I know oh, Clay will tell you himself, he had a lot of flooding down in his area. Yeah, down my way in the, uh, down the back. And, you know, we, we sort of back onto a creek and that flooded and it sort of, um, it, it didn't come too close to the house, which was good, but yeah. Um, for once, instead of looking down at paddocks, we had basically harbour views. So it was, uh, that was nice. That was nice when property. the sun was coming up. Yeah, when the sun was coming up and the sun was going down, it was gorgeous. But, um, but yeah, it's going down now. So we're, uh, we're getting all our paddocks back. So it's all good. You should be asking your real estate agent since you have waterfront property now, the value is going up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. So anyways, let's get into the uh, the band a little bit. Um, can you give us some background on the band? How you guys formed? Uh, what brought it all together? Well, um, I was searching for an original, you know, I mean, original members to, to form Field of Fire um, about four years ago. I just went through a lot of people, but it just didn't work out. Um they basically wanted to be in cover bands. And I thought, okay, well, this is an original band, you know? Um, so I just kept plowing ahead. I kept going. I wanted to give up so many times, but a friend of mine said, no, look, you'll find the right guys. So in 2019, I put in an ad um, on Gumtree um, and then Clay and Paul turned up to the audition and they were actually in the jam room. They were in the rehearsal room before I got there and then they were playing an original song. And so I walked in there and they already had that chemistry. So I walked in there and about even, I think it took about what, 10, 15 minutes um, for me to say, you know, you guys want to join this? These are the guys I've been looking for for a long time. <laughs> and then ever since then, you know, um, in 2020, we recorded, we wrote some songs and then recorded uh the EP Balls to the Wall, and it's just going from strength to strength. You know, we got we got a good fan base. We got, you know, very dedicated fans, as Clay will tell you. So yeah, that that's how it came about. Very cool. Anything to add to the story, yeah. Here, Clay? Yeah, I was in the um, I was in the studio first, and and sort of un unpacking my gear and and setting up. And uh, the drummer Paul, he walked in and. Straight off the bat, he just he said, uh, he goes, who are you? And I said, I I'm Clay the Guitarist. And uh, he just walked up to me, shook my hand and gave me a big hug straight off the bat. Um, and from there, it's 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 been good as gold. We've just gelled and then and Ben came in and we we're already jamming to one of my original riffs. And, and uh, you know, like as Ben said, 15, 20 minutes into it, um, we saw that we were gelling and, and the music was good and and the rest is history. Well, they, that's important that you guys can all get along like that because, you know, God praying that you guys will be able to get out there and tour. And, well, that any band will be able to get out there and tour because this COVID pandemic sweeping the world is holding everything back and it's really hurting yeah. the industry. And it's yeah. hurting bands, you know, especially new bands like yourselves. Sure. You know, you need to get yeah. out there. But it, it's, it's good that you do have a, a wide fan base. I've noticed even on Facebook, you guys have people all over the world that have yeah. heard and liked your song even here at the uh, cgcm radio station you know we we kind of have a pump it or dump it uh philosophy if we get a lot of people writing to us saying oh that sucks or that's really good you know we take that all into consideration you know yeah. but 
there's enough music out there for everybody to enjoy. So with the EP, who does most of the songwriting? Like, well, I I do all the songwriting. Clay does all the music. Um, so it's sort of like a Lennon and McCartney and or Axel and Slash. <laughs> Um, Either one yeah, lasted, we were... so I wouldn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, but they're back together, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> oh, so we're already planning the Fuel to Fire reunion in 2030. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. Great. Excellent. Yeah. But um, no, it's uh, I, I sort of come up with the riffs and I'll sort of send little snippets over to uh, over to Benny and uh, he goes, yeah, man, like, keep going with it. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll make that work. And then um, I just progress with the rest of the song. And as long as we sort of got that bass core riff there, um, I'll keep writing. And um, when I'm finished, I'll send it over to Ben and he'll put the lyrics down to it. So where do you get your inspirations from? Either your riffs or your writing? Is it just local news? Is it politics? You know, true to heart feelings? Um, well, I mean, I write most of my songs from personal experience um you know i mean like taken too soon for example is about my mum who passed away mm -hmm. yeah who passed away from cancer like 11 years ago um and even like this 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 all alone is not well it's not about me but it's something that i've heard you know through the news and through like youtube you know um it's about child abuse which you know is a very touchy subject but still like I like to write songs like that you know that that people sort of can relate to you know so not just party drunk and alcohol fueled um, <laughs> debauchery you have some yeah. thought behind your songs a message oh definitely yeah okay very cool so some I'm sorry go ahead Clay I was just gonna say sometimes like with balls to the wall um you know, I was going through the internet and, and just looking at some, um, you know, some NASCAR stuff. And, and over in Australia here, we've got the V8s and the, um, you know, the, the, the super bikes. And I was just, just sort of, you know, watching that. And that's how I sort of got a bit of inspiration for the, um, for the song Balls to the Wall. Just something that pumps along, a bit of a high adrenaline stuff. And then you know, when I when I send these riffs over to Benny, he's going, I oh, sort of, you know, what was what was your thought process on on creating this riff? And I'll tell him, you know, sometimes it's it's got a story behind it, or it's just as simple as um, you know, some some high impact adrenaline stuff like Ball to the Wall, which is you know, yeah, it's amazing. Really how out good we for get us. asked, is this a cover song? Because the title Balls to the Wall is obviously <laughs> an accept song, and it was one of their yeah. huge huge hits. So it's kind of it's a kind of a plus for you guys because a lot of people really love that song and they like a lot of people do like cover versions and regardless of what you said ben some cover tunes are actually really good there's nothing wrong with throwing a cover tune on an album of originals and in, in my opinion really? but yeah um, oh i agree but uh, yeah a lot of people tuned into that song just because they thought it was a cover so i, I think you've actually yeah, right. stumbled on a way to get people to listen <laughs> great <laughs> Hey, whatever works, right? I'll yeah, do that yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just to get a little personal then, so who are your guys' musical inspirations? I mean, um, Ben, I know uh, there's been some people out there who have compared your voice to sounding like a bit of the lead singer of Crocus, and I can definitely hear that. Right. Um, right. I mean, who, who's your musical inspiration? Like, who, who did you grow up listening to and who did you really enjoy is what I'm trying to ask. Well, you want to um, be a singer and a guitarist, right? Well, I mean, for me, it was my first vinyl record was Appetite for Destruction, and so as soon as I heard Welcome to the Jungle and then Sweet Child of Mine and the other songs on there, I went, I want to be a singer, and I knew what genre I wanted to sing to, you know. Um, but but uh, the guys that made me want to be a singer is Axel Rose, Sebastian Bach, and Chris Cornell. Okay. You got any inspirational guitarists? Yeah, for me, I sort of, um, you know, the, the good old boys, Angus Young and out of ACDC and started listening to, you know, Back in Black and and Fly on the War and all those albums. And then uh, it sort of went to um, to Richie Sambor and into Bon Jovi when they come along really? as well. Um, yeah, I just, just Richie's feel for when he plays the guitar and 
and how he creates his solos um, just really got me sort of got me really hooked. Um, and then I suppose it's, you know, it's not, it's, I, I suppose that was in the beginning, but it's just, there's a, there's that many great guitarists and great musicians in the world that, you know, you sort of pick pieces from here, there and everywhere and, and you sort of create your own style as well. So, but they'll, they'll probably the main ones, Angus and, and Richie. Yeah. Well, it's kind of funny that you actually mentioned Fly to the Wall because it's not usually the album most people go to. And it's actually one of my favorite ACDC albums. So good, good. Yeah. Picture. Um, it, it's funny how you pick somebody like Angus and, and Richie because Richie's a very technical player and yeah, Angus is he's very technical he's playing but I mean he's not as as technical as Richie he's not a sloppy player like say Ace Freely from Kiss or something but yeah true yeah they, they do have very similar but very vast styles of playing yeah. So. 100% it's, it's, yeah I, I Mm. I, I like to take experience from, you know, as I said, here, there and everywhere. I just don't, I, I don't like to look down the, down the tunnel. I like to look everywhere um, yeah. Very and cool. sort of, and get, get your own vibe too. Yeah. And, and, and Ben, you mentioned Guns N' Roses. I, I know you make me feel yeah. very old because I was in high school when that <laughs> album came out. <laughs> and, so was I. <laughs> I, I, I figured, you know, maybe, I mean, that's your first, first vinyl. You must've been late to the party. I was. <laughs> as, long as, as long as he okay, made it to well, the party. That. So, uh, I made it to the party. So why don't we get back in the band just a little bit. Um, I know you guys have had a, a few member changes, or not member changes, let's say how we say, yeah. uh, additions to the band, which is a great thing. Mm. Um, you've discovered uh, a new bass player, and I understand you're looking for, uh, mm. or maybe you have found at this point, a new rhythm guitarist, add some depth mm. to the band, so... Mm -hmm. This is all mm -hmm. a good thing. I'm not going to get you to give away any details, but um, let's go back a little bit. Who who came up with the band name Fuel to Fire? Is there a story behind it? I love asking this um, question. Yeah, That's well, Benny. I did. I did. Um, I was sitting, me and my wife were sitting in a doctor's surgery and I picked up a magazine and it said, I can't remember the what it was, but it said something like adding fuel to the fire. And I thought, fuel to fire not fuel to fire fuel number two fire and i thought that's the name of the band because i was struggling for months trying to find come up with a name and then suddenly just like that bolt of lightning <laughs> and everybody agreed yeah. nobody kind of went oh that sounds corny nothing like that or no everyone nah, loved the, nah. the band name so did you have it Play before you met the guys or is this afterwards yeah no, I had it before I met the guys. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, that, that works too. I mean, that's happened a lot in history with some very <laughs> big bands. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so, definitely. Uh, with this digital day and age that we have, everything, I mean, one of these could be in Australia, the other one could be in Antarctica for all that matters. There's a lot of bands out there who never even see each other's members. Or <laughs> that came out wrong. Um, you know, the other members. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. A little slip of the tongue there, you know. But um, do do you? Th this is a, a question I ask most bands that I talk to. Do you think to the, today's digital day and age is helping or hindering bands? Clay. Um. Geez, it 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 could be a uh, you know a positive and negative both ways depending on the how the band's set up and how their structure is, but, you know, for us, um, I can only speak about us, but I love getting in the studio. Um, I love, you know, meeting back up with the guys and getting there and, and just plugging in and, and letting it rip. Um, you know, I, I play at home in, in my, my, uh, my office here and, but nothing beats, you know, getting back with the boys and in the studio and playing. And, and that's all we want to do. We just want to get out there and play live. Um, that's what we live for, um, you know, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know, but to us, it's probably, I don't know, well, we've made it work, you know, with COVID, it gave us the opportunity to write a hell of a lot of new original material, which, um, you know, we've got probably eight, nine, ten originals there, um, apart from our EP stuff, so it, that was a good opportunity, um, but other than that, 
I'd rather I'd rather be together and and you know touring with these guys. Um, great bunch of guys, and and as I said, when when we get on that on that stage or in that rehearsal studio, we just gel straight off the bat. So it's uh, it's a really good vibe, really good party vibe, you know. Yeah, I, th- I think what I was heading towards though is, you know, it used to be that back in the heyday of this genre, you got signed by a, a record label, you got sent out on a tour. And the record label yeah. get promotion and everything like that. Well, bands today don't. We don't have that. You know, every there's mm. barely any record labels anymore that you know are out there that really do this. I mean, a lot of bands have to do their own promotion on social media, websites, right. things like that. But which is what the, we're uh, doing. Flip, yeah. On the flip side of the coin, everything is so transparent. There's no mystery behind a band anymore. Right. You know. Right. Thoughts? Oh, I just. I understand what you're saying, um, but yeah, I, I think it can work in a positive way. Um, whereas, you know, big major labels, you know, might send you out on a tour. But you know, you, when you get signed to a major label, a lot of some artists don't understand that when you do that, um, they're paying for all that, but you have to pay them back before yeah. you make some money yourself. You know. And a lot of artists don't understand that. And in that part of the industry um, is hard for artists because you go on one tour and then you finish that tour and then they'll, they'll put you on another tour maybe two weeks later or a week later. Mm-hmm. So you can make that money back before you make money yourself. You can make that money back for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I, I think being um, an independent band, as opposed to a, a signed band with a major label, I think it has some positives being an independent band because then you can promote yourself in your own way sort of thing. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I, I think it's, it can be a positive and a negative, to be honest. So with that being said, then, um, leads into my next question. Uh, with COVID uh, sweeping the globe again for a third time, so they say. Um, yeah. God help us, but uh, I'm so tired of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, me um, too, mate. Me too. A, a lot of bands yeah. are doing virtual concerts now. Right. So, for example, um, a band. Uh, it was a band I actually was just recommending to you the other day up here in Canada. I believe they're out in BC area. There's a band called The Wild. And what they did was they rented a little hall, you know, socially distanced, but they put on a live concert to no, no audience. They had lights going. It was as if it was a real show and they broadcast on Facebook for, for free and sold t-shirts and albums on the side with little tickers going on the bottom. It was a great way for them to stay active. It got them out playing again. Um, yes, it's hard to read a little screen and with tickers going by and people commenting. But I personally tuned into that show and it was it was amazing. And I would have never had the opportunity to see them before because I, I really don't travel. You know, um, I've seen bands. Yeah, from, yeah. I've seen bands from Europe uh, called Stop Stop was one of them live online. They never come to Canada. And again, I don't have a passport, so I don't travel. But I, I got to see them live. It was just <laughs> a, a, a thing from their home. But they were dancing around on milk crates and everything. It was fantastic. The energy, <laughs> the energy was there. Has, has Field yeah. Fire thought about doing something like that? Oh, definitely, definitely, mm. absolutely. I mean, actually, um, was it last year? Last year we did a live stream, um, which was great. I mean, it, it's kind of different because you know, there's no one, what, would they raise people watching you, but they're not physically in front of you. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting that, that goosebump vibe from right. the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's different so in that, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, but that was great. I mean, yeah, oh, absolutely, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. So what about a music video to help promote the EP? Are you guys thinking of anything like that? Right? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Um we are we're, we're looking around. We're, we're searching and and seeing what opportunities are out there to uh, to help us do that. But uh, yeah, we want to we want to get some uh, video clips of our music out there for sure, 100. percent So that's you know that's a work in progress at the moment. So, well, one thing I definitely can agree with is you, maybe you have another fan that can help because Lord knows you've had enough fans help with this album. Huh? 
Yeah, it's been re- it's, <laughs> yeah. it's it's been really awesome. Like you know, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone out there that's that's buying our CD and, and getting on our fan page. It's you know, if it wasn't for you guys, we'd be we'd be probably just stuck in the studio, just you know, just talking amongst ourselves. So just just really want to say thanks very much, and it's great to have that support there. Yeah, yeah. the fans are great. They're absolutely wonderful. And can I just say, Trevor, I want to thank you for doing the artwork, mate. That sure. was great. I loved it. I love yeah, that artwork. Awesome. Oh, yeah, we've I had a lot of comments about that here, artwork, but, you know, Thank you very much. We, <laughs> we've had a lot of comments about that artwork, mate. Let me tell you. Well, yeah, well done. Well done. Let, let me let me tell you a little bit about that because Clay, I've never spoken sure. to you, and uh, yep. you know, somebody might find this interesting. But we Ben wrote into our radio station is how the story goes. He wanted us to to play a, the song and. And, uh, you know, everybody at the station here has different tastes. And for some reason, the name Field of Fire just stuck out as something as my kind of genre. I like the, the hair metal, the, the, you know, if you like that term, hard rock sound. Other people like <laughs> symphonic, some people like thrash, you know. It's, it's a great mix of people here because we all like a little bit of everything. And I, I love the song. And I thank believe that's no, the you. one you sent was just the Balls to the Wall song. Is that correct, Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, I think it was. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But in order to play it here at the station, we need to have artwork because it shows up on a little player. It's a it's an online radio station, so yes. we needed artwork. And I, I I messaged Ben saying, "Hey, this is you know Trevor from CGCM. We want to play your song, but I need this some artwork." Which he replied, "We don't have any yet." <laughs> he had a logo. That was it with a kind of a gray yeah. background. You know. And I thought, well, I mean, that'll work. And we used it once or twice, but it doesn't push the album. And we are here, our main purpose is not just to play music, but we're here to push new bands and help with sales. I mean, we want to promote. That's that's what that's what radio is supposed to do, is promote yeah, bands, that's, new and old. That is awesome. That is you awesome. Yeah. So <clears throat> I just, I wrote, Ben, I said, do you mind if I make something up just to put on the station? And he's like, no, man, go ahead. You know, thanks for playing our song. I'm like, okay. And I'm a mature because I mean, I'm 47 years old. I went back to college last year. <laughs> Me too. Um, due to knee injuries, I can, I mean, I can barely walk some days. But I went back to school to become a graphic designer. So I thought, oh, I'll just play around with my software, see what I've learned so far. You know, I'm, I'm entering my third year now, close to, very close to graduation. But uh, so I came up with this and I sent it. I'm, I'm, I'm an approval kind of guy. So I sent it to Ben saying, here's what I came up with. Do you like it? Can I use this? And I guess the rest is history because here it is on, on the actual EP and it's going worldwide. And I, I actually feel very proud of that, seeing people holding up something I helped create <laughs> in a, in a yeah. little part. You know, it, it's kind nah, of a yeah. personal it's pat great. on the back type of thing. <laughs> Hundred percent, hundred percent. I, I, That's I awesome. love that you guys allowed me to do that and partake in this. And uh, well, you know, hopefully, when the next album comes out, you'll consider me again. That's, that's all I can oh, say. Absolutely. No, I've already yeah. said like absolutely. Yeah. You know, hundred um, percent. Because yeah. I, I, I want to say like it, I love just the you know it balls to the wall, and then you had the brick background, and you had it like sort of like a spray paint balls to the wall ep yeah. i love that and all the different colors in it yeah that's what i Perfect wanted man. Was I'm simple but yet bright and brilliant because i remember right. going to an, a record store when they still existed and you're flipping through the the albums or the uh, cds even the cassettes yep. if you're old enough and it was those bright brilliant album covers that stopped you and made you pull it out and turn yep. it over and see a picture of the band and if they looked like somebody i would listen to you know yeah threw it in the basket you know that type of thing so that's yeah, kind of what I was going for, you know, to match the music. I mean, it was just great. But anyways, and I, it, I thank it, you guys for it, the opportunity. It I'm glad it worked out for all of us. And, uh, you know, it's a great EP. That's all I can say. If, if nobody has gotten thank the you. Balls to the Wall EP yet, it, it's <laughs> four great tracks. One of them being acoustic. Uh, I guess it was a tribute you said that you wrote. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a, it's a great AP, and uh, thank you, know, you. I personally am really looking thank forward you, yeah. to the next so full length album. Oh yeah, so are we. <laughs> so yeah, you, yeah. you were saying 100%. Clay that you had ten songs written already, aside from the EP. So you've got fourteen now. 
Yeah, I've got, geez, I've, I've nearly filled up my phone with, with that many riffs. Um, and even going back on the old cassette days, I've still got riffs from, from way back. So, you know, it, it's it's sometimes you, you you put them put the tape back on and you listen to that old stuff and you go, you know what? There's something there. I can I can make that work. And and with with Benny's writing, um, you know, and our drummer, and now we've got the new bass player. Um, you know, it's all it's all coming together. And um, yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait till we we get some more songs out there. Sure. How about you, Ben? Are you are you writing like a madman, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like Clay said, I mean, we've got aside from the four, we've got about mm, maybe eight more. I'd say eight or nine more songs. Um, Fully developed. Enough for an album. Um, pretty much, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Um, it, it's in terms of like writing. I mean, like, like I said. Clay does Complete the song. music and I, yeah, and then I write the lyrics to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it definitely an album's worth. We actually, to talk about an album, um, it probably, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of this year. Um, really? Would be hopefully, yeah, hopefully doing an album or, or maybe early next year. Um, yeah, definitely. Wow, I, I didn't think it would be that fast. I was thinking probably next summer. <laughs> no, we're we're going we're going for it. We're going for it. That's fantastic. We've got, we've, yeah, can can, can we've I got ask a lot of material a, there, so. a, a little bit of insider information here. Uh, what vibe is it going towards? Is it the same kind of sound as balls to the wall, or is it more like taken too soon or alone? Or? Um. Well, th there's 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 a couple of songs that are sort of like taken too soon, and there's some songs that are more like balls to the wall up tempo but um all in all i think the writing i think some of it there's some songs that are a bit heavier than balls to the wall actually good um which which yeah, is great yeah. that makes me happy <laughs> yeah you've, got, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got some uh you know for all those the guitarists out there you've got some drop d stuff um that's you know sort of heavy and melodic and and just and then you know there's some other stuff that really smacks you in the face and and makes you wake up and and you know take a listen to this uh, it's yeah it's coming yeah, along. I, really I was good. I was actually listening to the EP this morning just before we uh, started talking, and I noticed I think it was in All Alone you have this haunting reverb sound going <laughs> in, in behind. I mean that's great stuff. I love when I hear stuff like that. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you guys want to give any information about the new bassist yet, or are we just going to hang in a little bit and make um, a big announcement later? Well, no, we. No, I'll tell you. I mean, um, Clay will back this up, but I mean, I. It was actually one of Clay's friends um, from a previous band, um, because like we were struggling to find a bass player, and then Clay said, "Hey, man, you know, I've got." Hey Ben, I've got this guy that I used to play in a band with, and he came and auditioned uh, two weeks ago, and he's a really yeah, good guy, yeah. and he's a very good bass player. So, um, you know, basically he was half actually, an hour. Yeah. yeah, he was actually in the band before uh, I was in with um, before I met up with Benny. So, um, and 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 we we're doing covers there in there, but um, you know, he's I think his heart's in original music as well, and then. Um, We've got the other rhythm guitarist coming over next week to to audition as well. So well, I fingers look crossed. To seeing some new band photos coming out soon, then because yes, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I've got uh, you know, of course, we, Ben, you and I talk all the time. Clay, I see a lot of stuff of you on Facebook, but we really haven't connected all that much. You yeah, know, and uh, the drummer, I I don't think I've even spoken to him yet at all. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> never reached out he's a cool dude you know, doesn't matter yeah but uh yeah so I, I just want to thank you guys for joining me i know it's pretty late where you guys are bright and early in the morning for me you know but that's the joys of being on opposite no of the earth i guess thank you yeah, but, uh, yeah hopefully no. uh we hear something new soon from fuel to fire i'm definitely looking forward to it whether or not yeah, uh, thank you you know i'm involved with another one or not i don't it doesn't matter. I enjoy the music. You will be. You so, will be. Oh, you will be. Yeah. Don't you worry. 
I just want to thank you guys for putting out some great tunes and keeping rock alive because so many people think rock is dead these days and it is not. Uh, so come let's, on, let's no way. Far from it. You're never so too old, can, right? No, definitely. And I, can enough. I just say, like, I want to thank CGCM Radio and you, Trevor, for, for playing Balls to the Wall. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, no yeah. problem. We're, we're, we're happy to yeah. do it. Yeah, means a lot means a lot to us man so thank you yeah that's what we're here to do is to promote bands so that's what the job should be and it's not even a job it's it's a pleasure so thanks again you guys for joining yeah. us and i'm thank just going so to hang on here for just a, a moment okay